son, a very dear friend, Shiv, uh, had an accident on the polo field. And thankfully today he's much recovered with the love of his family, his wife, and friends like Sarah, the Duchess of York. We welcome you all and a welcome to Sarah, to India. God bless everybody. We've done a very unique show tonight, which was in keeping with Asha Raje, who hosted the Baroda Cup, and my dearest friend Harshvardhan Reddy, who's a wonderful, philanthropic, big-hearted genius, who's launching his platform, an e-platform called Ready Deals, as you can see behind you. And he is the moving spirit that made tonight happen. We are all just little puppets who did what he asked us. Right, Asha? <laughs> no. Okay. So we welcome you all. Sanjeev Devan is here from Dubai. Aslam Sheikh flew out from Dubai for this evening. We have uh, Martin, who's here. A special thanks to you. He's uh, a close associate of Sarah, the Duchess of York. Vivek Naya, unfortunately, due to a very, very last minute pressing engagement, couldn't be here today, but he will come and greet the Duchess tomorrow. Uh, he is my brother, the owner of the Leela Hotels. He's, whenever I say hero or something else in a little message, he says, no, I'm your bro. So Vivek Naya of the Leela and Air India. Air India First Class, who did the honor of uh, you know, helping us with ticketing, with Diwali, everything was full, this is very last minute. And so, you know, we, ha we had Air India putting themselves out. Air India First Class is going to change under Mr. Lohane and it's a very, very special airline that we all as Indians should be proud of. We have um, a, a, a lovely de young designer, um, uh, who, who gave the Duchess a bracelet, which in her vote of thanks she will mention, and, a, and, and someone else who, not one, but I think 20 designers who wanted to dress her for the evening, meet her, but, and a lot of dignitaries who couldn't, who couldn't come tonight because it's the last weekend be before Diwali, but we tried to keep it close and small because she, she went yesterday to Jabalpur and then drove down to, to be as patroness of, of, of Elephant Walk, which is one of her fa favorite charities, and the Interlink Women Foundation in Calcutta, which is her other uh, favorite charity. So it's all Indian charities that we are propitiating tonight. And once Aslam starts painting, you will see his creative genius. He's working on international projects. He's already asked the Duchess what she would like as a subject. And we are all in tandem and we are ready to gallop. I hope you are all with me. And can we just all put our hands together for the Duchess. <laughs> Welcome to India. Aslam, may I welcome you to the stage? And if you want me to be your helper, I'm happy. He was in a suit, but he got into work clothes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all of you for coming.
Sarah, the Duchess of York, to, to speak of, about her charities in India, uh, which she tirelessly uh, champions. Okay, okay. Um, hello, my princess. We're going to Nepal soon. We have to, we have to rebuild Nepal. We do. We can't forget. Um, for those of you in the room, I won't talk long, and I don't need notes. My job, um, my children donated me to the world's children. <laughs> Most children leave home. <laughs> Most children leave home, but they kicked me out and said, go and help other children, because uh, it's the job I love. I've written many, many children's books, and if you go to the um, museum at Ground Zero right now, in a glass case, you can find my little red doll. Stands like that, as she was the only object that survived the North Tower of 9-11. So, what did that say to us? When we saw her in the rubble, CNN filmed it and said, look, a child's doll. And, um, and Larry King said, no, that's no child's doll, that's Fergie's Little Red, and she stands for children's rights all over the world. So I'm standing up here, and for those of you who are chatting at the back, yes. could you just be quiet for a minute? Because actually, hello. Can you be quiet for a minute? Because all I am is just a vehicle. All I am is a voice of silent whispers. My job is just to stand up here and ask all of you to help me help the children of India. That's what I do. So, so it's not about me. So if you're chatting, you're chatting about a, a poor child that is on the street with a head injury because she didn't wear a helmet. Because there should be more helmets. There should be less road traffic accidents in this country. And then what happens? The children are just left on the floor and people just walk over them. They don't know that you can regrow the brain. Am I right, Doctor? Yes? I know there's a doctor right back there, I know. I, I, it is possible. We've seen it with Shivraj. We've seen it, it's possible. So to the Head Injury Foundation, let's keep going. And to Women's Interlink, is it right that a five-year-old girl should be stolen and put into sex slavery? So we take, we take her, we help her human trafficking through Women's Interlink in Calcutta. And the scarves that she makes, we sell at Topshop all over the world for 30 pounds. That 30 pounds, Nina, you're so amazing. That 30 pounds goes into a bank account and gives her life. Okay, so why is it the elephants are shot because they walk past, past their normal passageway and people have built homes in their way? It's not the elephant's fault, it's the people's fault. So through the elephant family, Mark Shand has done this amazing job of building this great big passageway through. All of these different things are all the things that we stand up here for. So I'm not going to say any more, but I just wanted to say about Nepal, let's not forget. Let's not forget, right? And let's do it. So I'm not going to say any more, except to say I'm, I'm told I'm meant to thank Nina big time, but can I do it? I've told I've got to do it later. Your son told me to do it later, and, and Harsha, and, uh, and everybody that's put together tonight, but I'm doing it later, so I'll be back. What? No, it's not. I'm not even begun. Thank you very much. <laughs>